certain goalkeepers who, who do have uh, additional elements that help them with age, but he's uh, continued to impress throughout this campaign as we it. And you spoke about that late equaliser. He was the one who found it. Such as his dedication and determination till the final whistle. Delivery in from Kabwe, who's away on international duty with Zambia. And they missed out, despite a victory over Zimbabwe on the final day of qualifiers. They missed out on qualification and up against Ovidi Karuru today, who captains Zimbabwe. But uh, Edwin Jima, not unaccustomed to cutting a few players down in his. Uh, in yeah. his career he doesn't take prisoners and goes out but the the wrong end of him there uh, it's going to be a battle between him and the likes of Goza. both very physically astute players you spoke about the older players in swallows uh, and i think we must compliment their physical coaches or their their, their, their physical technical team have done an excellent job because normally when you have players of that age you want to protect them a lot by not overusing them and the likes of uh, Mary as well as Mukwe now they in their 30s but I think Swallows have done an excellent job to ensure that they have maximum minutes. It's undoubtedly uh, one of the, the, the keys as this will be a free kick to Swallows. Tabo Matlava will look to take the throw. There's Brendan Trutter. Coach done so remarkably well while this pressure that's been mounting on uh, swallows with a lot of talk about when they lost the, when they won their last game and how they're dropping points along the way I think what many people have failed to recognize is they effectively in half a season for a side that was playing in the second tier of South African football last season they saved themselves from relegation they survived which is the main aim of any club coming up and uh, yes, while, while they created some very high expectations by winning as often as they did in the early start of the season, I have been a little confounded by some of the criticism that's been almost vitriolic towards the players, management, and in particular to Brandon Trutter. Well, I think we need to applaud them. I think uh, besides the fact that they've done so well in ensuring that they've collected 36 points out of 21 games, uh, which says a lot about it, you know, Gavin Hunt always says if we get two points per game, yeah. it's, it's good. Uh, but in saying that, they've also played a very exciting attacking brand of football and only conceded 16 goals. Yeah, second best defence in the league behind uh, Mamelodi Sundowns, runaway log leaders, it seems. Although Amazulu might have something to say with that in the coming weeks as uh, that ball headed out of play. Throw into the uh, visiting side. Matsimbi, he's uh, among those who's back in the lineup today. Tepo Matsimbi, the uh, right back who can play as a central defender, returning from injury. So uh, timely as well when you consider that three Black Leopards players, in amongst the injuries they have, uh, have been suspended for playing in Easter tournament football tournaments. Here's Karuru looking to get on his way. A lovely run through the center here for Vidi Karuru, but that looked like uh, Mira had a cover out wide cover with a ferocious shot. But Litlavika puts his body on the line to block. Roderick Kabwe, a ball on that left boot. He has an absolute rocket launcher of a left boot. Well, that was an important block, but you must compliment Karuru. He's had four, two assists and four goals this season. But you can see how well he kept the ball there. He waited for the opportune time to lay the pass out to uh, Kabwe. And unfortunately, Kabwe couldn't get a clear shot. You have to compliment the defense there. I think it was Letlabika who made a very important block. Uh, that was beautiful from Letlabika. And that would uh, sting no matter where it caught you on the body. Kabwe does not have a, uh, a slight touch. There was certainly nothing deft about it. It was power all the way. No, Lippitz down the near side. Lovely little delivery on the overlap. Matsimbi going for a charge. Deflected kindly here for Karuru. Little space for Ramakalela. Look to turn and shoot. And it was blocked. But uh, an injury concern here. Ramakalela's called as well for his opponent. I think it's Mobo who's uh, the player who's down. Ramakalela, credit to him as well. As the two players collided, he had the hand up immediately. Now, see, when he turns here, I think it's just a follow through. He's kicked the ball, and I think he's got some of the ball as, as well as some, uh, some of Nova. Oh, he's, he's caught him on the inside of the knee, I think. But Ramagalela, the moment he regained his balance, called for 
the medics. While they weren't required, he felt it was serious enough. That's uh, Jabulung Mobo. What a season he has had for this Swallows side. Played under Brandon Tritter at uh, Richards Bay. Well, there's uh, Letlo Nolasiema, part of the Orlando Pirates in seasons gone by, a squad that he joined just after the departure of Kostadin Papic at Orlando Pirates. And now Kostadin Papic has uh, been appointed as technical manager, and uh, Siema, as head coach of the side, is Khutlan, like Siema, a Lesotho international. He played against Nigeria and uh, Sierra Leone recently. Ball in here, the cowboy gets a touch on the end of, but fails to direct. That would have been a very sharp chance if you'd been managed to get up behind it and direct that goal bound. Well, Kumalo does it very well there. He he doesn't cross the ball with his stronger foot there, he crosses it with his weaker foot and finds Kabwe. Unfortunately, Kabwe wasn't able to keep it down, but that was a very promising opportunity for Kostadin Papic, well, the technical director. It's the hint of offside there, perhaps, but there is the uh, technical manager, as he's termed, uh, Kostadin Papic, Mogezi Bobe, one of the great captains. Mogezi Bobe captained the Black Leopards to their only continental foray. They uh, did remarkably well and they finished runners up to Orlando Pirates in the 2011 Nedbank Cup final. We were able to qualify for the, the CAF Confederation Cup the, the following season. And uh, great pride. He led the leopard side. Did not disappoint. Delivery in here. Dangerous looking ball, but Virgil Fries has timed his run to perfection and manages to scythe between Karuru and Ramakalela who were aiming to receive that delightful delivery from Kabwe. Uh, quality touch, but a quality touch forward to pick out Tsukhota forward here. Steps back inside of Matsimbi, but uh, quick recovery from the right back. The 21-year-old snatches it away. And Khutlan with a charging run, as Matlatsi will be penalised here. Ten and a half minutes gone, and we're seeing signals from both these sides that they are eager to play. Yeah, thus far we haven't had a dull moment. It's been end-to-end -end stuff with uh, Swallows playing with both fullbacks inverted, both Matlaba and Mere playing more central, which allows Zekota as well as Bokoma to use the width. But it's been uh, Leopards that's been on the ascendancy thus far. Nil-nil uh, in the early stages. As you say, it's uh, defence from... Swallows has been impressive. Only one team has conceded fewer goals, and that's uh, log leaders Sundowns. Who, while their uh, unbeaten run across all competitions has finally come to an end, as they lost to uh, Beluizdad, the Algerian side, in the final group match of CAF Champions League. And they find themselves through. The great uh, celebration was Kaiser Chiefs having managed to hold Horoya to a two-all draw away from home and advancing first time. Two South African sides are in the last eight of the CAF Champions League. I think it's fantastic for South African football to have uh, two teams in the last eight. So yes, I think we are in for an exciting CAF Championship. It's going to be interesting who the two teams are going to be playing. Well, yeah, I mean... Uh... Sundowns finished top of their group, which means they are one of the seeded teams. So the four seeded teams are going to be uh, Mamelodi Sundowns, Simba of Tanzania, Widad of Morocco, and Esperance of Tunisia, the blood and gold. Interesting to see that Samalek is out. Five-time champions. Five-time champions, Tipi Mazembe is out. And the ball is through here. And comfortably claimed by uh, Mendes. But uh, al Ahly are not one of the seeded teams like Kaiser Chiefs because they finished second in their group. So the draw is set to be made later this month for the final eight, the quarter-final ties. And bear in mind, because there's no limit on uh, confederation teams playing against one another, we could have a Sundowns Kaiser Chiefs quarter-final as Kabwe stays on the side here to receive and a chip toward the back post where Karuru is waiting. Tried to nod it back down for Ramakalela, but very mature in his defending. As the uh, the tall centre-back Ngobo comes away with possession and finds space for his side as well. As the experience of Nyatama. 
But yeah, just to get back to that point, I mean, uh, we could also have the situation because Alethli is not conceded. Sundowns could be uh, playing Alethli in the quarterfinal as well. It's Musimani now at Alethli. Well, that'll be interesting. Side. That'll yeah. be interesting. Now, it's caught up. Showing his skill and ability, the battle of the uh, 28s. They're both relatively young. Schorter's still only 23, but Simbi 21. But Schorter has far more experience. And uh, his skill is sublime, to say the least. Here's Mukwena. Chip that looked a little too heavy initially, but brilliantly, brilliantly hit goal bound by Gozar at full stretch, almost over his shoulder. I mean, Karuru now might have a shot at the opposite end. It hits one high and it's oh, it's hit uh, Mobo in the face here, and that is going to be incredibly painful. He's a tough character. I'm sure he'll come back. But while while I was utterly enamoured by Gozar even getting a shot on, this means Mobo is going to get medical attention. Yeah, he struck him full in the face. Here we see the earlier incident. Goza, from a very acute angle, is able to bring the ball back into play, but Mendes well positioned. But it's that shot that Novo took to the face, uh, Dwight, that was really uh, very full in his face. I do think that Karuru hit it sweetly. I think if, if it wasn't for the block from Novo, it was going towards goal, and it would have had Fris having to do something special to keep it out. Oh. Certainly struck very firmly by Ovidi Karuru, who's uh, Zimbabwean side, is off to the Africa Cup of Nations next. Mobo, though, is fine. He is a uh, player who is very much in demand after his impressive performances for this Swallow side so far this campaign. Yeah, this uh, team uh, has been outstanding leopards offensively. They've stretched. Uh, Swallows and they've used the likes of their fullbacks in the form of Kumalo very effectively. Now, Kabwe against Mere looking to close him down. He's forced to go back to defense where all is worked across to the near side. Matsimbi by Susiso Kumalo. Sota again getting uh, the better of Matsimbi. It's an interesting battle developing between the two Jersey 28s. Matsimbi for Leopards and Sakota for Swallows. Well, Matsimbi from Leopards needs to be careful. This player, Sakota, is a very pacey, skillful player. And he will look to get behind him. Is it going to be wise for Matsimbi to go tight on him? I don't think so. I think he needs to give him a yard or two so that he runs towards him rather than mark him tight. Just uh, Virgil Fries just checking his boot. Pull out wider where Mwobo well, just holds on to it. And Litlabika often left uh, behind as the two fullbacks probe into danger territory. Mire and, uh, and uh, Machlaba. Mire. Just a, another player who, who just loves football. It's not about the ego, he just loves football. Not a striker's instinct, but, but a quality player. Yeah, maybe when it, he wants to do it two in a row, the last one against Arrows. Gave his team that important point. Well, yeah, I mean, I know he's an admirer of Sergio Ramos, or Sergio Ramos, as some call him, the uh, Real Madrid man. So we won't talk about uh, La Liga results last night, for some people, I suspect, but uh, Real Madrid claiming a comfortable 2-1 win and doing the El Clasico La Liga double over Barcelona. Well, what it does do is it gives uh, Atletico Madrid a second chance, it seems, because they were well clear atop the standings, and suddenly they uh, have a Real Madrid side level on points with them. Virgil Fris with a smile. Well, it's something that the coach alluded to, the Leopards coach, about the fact that the team spirit in the team is, is very good. CMR mentioned that they, they're looking very hungry. Yeah, so a little bit of a concern, and that'll be left by Kumalo to go out of play. There's a uh, concern over Putlan. 
Yeah, seems to have taken a, a, a knock to the face. Yeah, just the, just, yeah, just, just the arm. hand in the face, yeah. Yeah. Well, look, Whitlung. He's only really been uh, given an opportunity now in recent times, but uh, nothing dangerous or deliberate from Musa Nyatama. Just a, a little catch of uh, Nyatama's hand on Klung's face. Klung has looking to make the most of his opportunity for this Black Leopard side, but if he could help them towards avoiding relegation, his uh, star will rise, as they say. The ball by Spungsenem Tertua. Out wide, here's Kumalo. Drilled in, it bounces a fair way in front of Virgil Fries, but also a little awkward in the height. Well, I think he expected, uh, Kumalo expected uh, one of his attackers there maybe to attack the ball, the likes of Roma Kalela as well as Karuru. Kumalo's got a very educated left foot. And I think they're using him to ensure that he gets the service to those two men up front. Ramakalela hasn't scored, which is a concern. He's normally a player that you expect to at least have a few goals to his name. Now, on the near side, where Matlaba opts to go the way of Schuta again uh, with a taking on uh, Matsibi. This time they're going with the first time cross into Mendes, who in uh, goalkeeping terms in South Africa is one of the better goalkeepers in dealing with crosses the Guinea Bissau International so as we hit 20 minutes goalless it remains despite the attacking intent from both these sides yeah talking about Mendes if you just look at his physique unbelievable there we see uh, Letla Bika a, a warrior in the back a couple of goal attempts from uh, Leopard so far one of those has been on target the, uh, the only effort that Swallows have had on goal so far has been on target. Karuru showing some skill. Matsimi. Well, he might not be winning the battle against Sukhota, but he's going to show Matlati that he's got some skill. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with the way Leopards have been playing in these uh, 20 minutes that we've watched. Uh, they don't show any fear. They look comfortable on the ball. And they're attacking Swallows at every opportunity. In the arm. Free kick here going the way of the home team. Uh, because uh, they're being uh, pushed off the ball, he's going to have a lot of work to do with the defense made up of the likes of Jima Masia. That central pairing will look to close him down and don't give him any opportunity whatsoever. Buena stands over this, the two-man wall. Ramagalela and Khutlang are the two players. Only one swallows foul, but six already for Lippitz is concerning. Chip in here, it looked a decent delivery as well. In the end, it's been well cleared by Masia to uh, work the ball away. The very strong central defender. It's been a solid challenge from a number of players this campaign to to be the starting central defender alongside Edwin Jima, who's been the the, uh, the player who's who most of the defense has revolved around. Well, what surprises me, both Masia and Jima are quality central defenders with Mendes in goal, and then obviously you ask the question, why have they conceded that many goals? Because the defense is not a, a poor defense on paper. And certainly not. <laughs> Sabika is Nyatama up against Karuru. Nyatama, formerly of Pirates, Karuru, formerly of Chiefs. This goes up, he made his way to uh, the Swallow side from Free State. Stars looks for a powerful shot. Now, he's got much about his game. He's uh, decent with the ball at his feet. He's got a very powerful shot, and he is an unbelievable finisher. The problem is getting him into the right position sometimes. And uh, he's one of those players, coach, you would have come across this before, where if he's in the right place, you give him half a chance, he can put it away. The problem is he goes in search of a ball, 
And uh, I mean, I certainly I've noted this, and I know in Ghana it was noted. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Brendan Tritter would, uh, would have noted this. But there are positives in his play that cannot be denied. Bueno to uh, capitalise on position one, Hutlan, the ball in towards Ramakalela, but away, as Yatama stole it again, here's Goza. For options now, and Yatama can shoot, and disappointingly, sees one skew off the side of the boot. But well, once again, you see the quality there of Goza setting up and Yatama, and Yatama just got it on the outside of the boot, didn't hit it clean enough. You yeah, it looks like he took a little turf as well. Yeah, you mentioned Goza, he's a very exciting player running at players, but I think because he's playing as a lone striker in a 4-3-3 in a, in a formation, sometimes it would be proper maybe to have a player playing close to him so that he can play off, because I do think if that happens, they can cause a defence a problem. <laughs> Maybe a little accuracy as well for Korma, who are playing down the respective wings again today. So if you can find him as a target man, it could be deadly. Green here is uh, suspected to come from Klang, that ball out of play. Uh, trying to probe their way through, it looked like Mutebwa with a, a deft touch. So, uh, it would be interesting to think about Malinga or even Hemel Dean to play alongside Goza much closer with a 4 for 2 because he seems to be isolated. If you look at him now, he's always got two players, one marking him, one giving cover, and uh, he's going to have his work cut out. There you see him uh, shielding the ball, and look again, he's always got attention. He certainly does. And those who watched him play at Three State Stars and uh, elsewhere would know some of his strengths. Against uh, Masia. It's going to be a particularly physical battle if those two get going, or indeed if the two Ghanaians have a little bit of a battle between themselves in Gozar and uh, Jima. The other Ghanaian on the pitch is the diminutive central midfielder, Abu Bakr Mubara. Incidentally, another Ghanaian in Mohamed Anas, not available for Leopards today. Going to tonsillitis of all things. Well, mentioning the fact that they play with two strikers, I think you must take into account why Brendan doesn't want to do that. We're possibly not wanting to sacrifice the numerical superiority superiority in midfield where he has three players, and then he uses the pace of Sehota and uh, Bokoma, so you can't always have your cake and eat it. I suppose Koza will have to do it on his own. Senyatama, um, side of the boot, just flicks it into the path of Vasily uh, Litsarika. Of the so called big three teams in Kaiser uh, Chiefs, Orlando Pirates, Mamalodi Sundowns, although many now extend that to, uh, to others, certainly it seems uh, that campaign as Morocco swallows and seasons go by remains one of the legendary outfits and uh, sports have been unbelievable in their <laughs> winning uh, <laughs> in the PSL era but from the traditional big three teams Jabulo Ngobo is the only player in the back five who hasn't played for one of the traditional big three Saba at uh, Pirates uh, Tariqa at Sundowns Mere at Sundowns, so, Fris yeah. at Chiefs, yeah. and uh, the rumours are to be believed, Mobo will, however, be playing for one of those big three next season. But as of now, he's the only one in the back five who hasn't. And, you know, so much can be said for experience for Brendan Trito, who has over 20 years of experience, despite the fact these are players that might not be regarded as at the very peak of their careers. He is drawing something remarkable out of him. Sway so, Sway so into that danger area again. Bogorma showing his pace and his skill. And the free kick has been called for Ntertwa here. 
Yeah, I think he was a little bit disappointed that he was uh, blown up there. Let's see why. He stops the ball there. <laughs> yeah, I can't see what really happened there. Did he just obstruct the well, defender? He was uh, getting his body in the way, but it's just not something that uh, you see all too often. Bukoma. A 29 year old who's shone the swallow's side. Here's Kabwe. Karuru. Kabwe. And the ball drilled low and hard, but Litabiga there to scoop it away. Might have been hitting on target or just, just wide. But, uh, again, not quite the full connection from Kabwe. Who scored recently against. Sundowns in that one all draw for Black Leopards. A chance to get something going here yet again. Again, the powerful effort comes in, and again, bodies on the line from Swallows. Litabika again. How many is he blocked now with the body? Lovely delivery in here, and Litabika proving to be a shining star. Scooping that ball away, here's uh, Kutlang as Muyamere look to lay it back into Nyatama's path. It's Mumuni Abu Bakar. And Nyatama just calmly sends that ball slightly wide of his own goal, allowing Freeze time to run onto it. And with that, we hit the half hour mark without a goal having been scored. But the attacking intent remains. Opportunities. Although. Uh, showing promise in building up to efforts we're not seeing too many final shots and those that have been created not uh, too many have been on target yeah i think uh, as i said earlier on it looks like uh, leopards have done all the attacking or most of the attacking but their men up front the target man ramakalela hasn't been effective enough he's missed balls played to him he's unable to keep the ball up and i'm so sure that the coaching staff will have something to say about him at after no, I'm sorry, again, deep inside his own half, and I, I suspect this is what Brendan Trigger doesn't want, but he looks to make the most of his run. Takes Masia out of play, feeds off to Zahorta, looks to create space, and a powerful shot. The men is equal to second shot at target for Swallows, but their best scoring opportunity. Beautifully creating space for himself, and then unleashing a powerful shot, but great goalkeeping. Great goalkeeping and uh, unfortunate for Sakota, didn't get it, didn't get more spin on it. And uh, Mendes was well positioned, but you must mention the fact that Abubakar, they're being very careless, giving away possession, while most of his players were moving forward and allowing Swallows to counter-attack. Roll out wide as um, Mkwena pushes this one forward. Mbogoma a chance to run again at their opponents, Mere to uh, Mokwena, they're playing triangles for a brief moment. Mokwena having a think about this, time on the ball. Mokoma into the center, goes, ah, looks for a shot with his left rather than sweep it out towards Sakota again. The shots are coming, but they are not coming uh, on target for Gozar so far. Well, firstly, you have to compliment him for the way he turned. Uh, he's, uh immediate defender there he was able to turn the masia but unfortunately the shot didn't match the turn if only he could have kept it on target with his left foot there he scooped it that would have been a fantastic effort very powerful individual is Daniel goza formerly of uh, we started his career at aduana stars in ghana and then played for a uh, team called Dreams before he was picked up by one of the Giants, Ashanti Gold. Yeah, very notable team. But this comes back to development. You know, you've got a player of his stature, his ability, his intelligence. All that it needs is for him to have refined his scoring touch. And I think he would have been a player that could have gone far. And that's one that's been completely overhit by Matsibi. Into a good position from which to uh, deliver something. Well, now we can see why most of the crossing is done by Kumalo. Masimbi not being that effective. It's still not Lucia. 
Roma Lesotho and uh, international captain and uh, Orlando Pirates captain, Lymphotade Celtic captain. He coached at uh, Lymphotade Celtic as well for the longest time before departing this season to go to Chipper United and uh, subsequently with Leopards. Now, Ramakalela down after this challenge. Just, uh, just a, a little brush from Ngobo, he might call it. Yeah, I suppose there wasn't too much in it. It's got the free kick, though, for this Black Leopard side. Last uh, league goal was against Marysburg some time ago. You know, normally we know him to be a player that is worth his weight in at least scoring a couple of goals. Hasn't done that for Leopards, and they would look forward to him uh, hitting the high notes and scoring an important opener here. So... First corner of the game for Black Leopards. Low and flat from Carboy. It's Nyatamo steers it away. And Kutlan can't keep that ball in play. I think the, the aim is to go back towards Carboy out wide. Yukuma. Challenge from Carboy. Karuru. Bemoans the fact that the call has gone to Swallows in terms of the throw in. Guzar again. He's an interesting individual, is uh, Guzar. He scored on his debut for. for uh, Andwana Stars. Against Wa All Stars, I think it was, when he played in. Uh, Ghana. He has scored since then. In the top flight, we're looking to change that with a goal and as soon as he can. He hopes of trying to cement a starting place. Warm up. I think the other important thing is if you look beyond this season, because. Uh, even if you don't trust the rumours, I could tell you that at least four Swallows players will not be at the club next season. And what that means is you've got to prepare for a second season in the top flight. But sometimes for promoted teams, it's, it's even more challenging than the uh, the first season back or the first season in the top flight as it stands. As Mendes claims is comfortably, it looks to bowl out for Matsimbi. Charging run forward here from the right back. Searches for Ramakalera, but beautifully anticipated by Ngobo. And this ball forward to Sukhota. You know, goes off. Might prove target man here. And thought he was going to win the corner. Sukhota, when he kicked it into Masia, but it ricocheted straight back onto his own leg. And away, goal kick it is. Masia doing ever so well. You can see he's an experienced campaigner. He ensured that he didn't commit himself to Sakota because he realized that Sakota is a pacey, tricky player. And you can see how he, he guides him and he just uh, shadows him towards uh, the goal line and forces him out. Maybe a little surprised, only 13% down the left from Swallows. Yeah, we, we normally see the likes of Sifota doing many more overlapping runs, but he seems to have been kept at bay. And I think the reason is that Leopards have been on the ascendancy with most of the attacks, but just haven't been clinical enough. Maybe as well, because Matlaba is sort of cutting into a central position, almost uh, drifting inside towards a central midfield role, which would count towards attacks through the center rather than down the left. Saramagalela has space inside the area. Looks to tear it up for Karuru, who's closed down. And Teto out wide. Kumalo might fancy a shot. And it comes in hot, does Sisu Kumalo. Well, the reason why Matlaba and Mary push into the middle, as we now know the, the very famous uh, term of inverted fullbacks uh, coined by the likes of Pep Guardiola, I think it's to allow the likes of Manyama, Matlazi, and Mukwena to push high up the field and to give Goza some support. On the opposite side, Leopard's doing much to the centre as well. Yeah, and uh, a lot coming from the left-hand side, Kumalo making those crosses in and uh, trying to feed the ball to Ramakalela and Karuru. Well, wide, it's... 
This is Swallow's corner. Some players head forward. Third corner of the game, referee Tolas Taylor just having a little warning for the defenders. Almost dominating possession of the last five minutes, hoping to capitalize on it here. It's uh, Gima who's got up high, it doesn't clear fully though, and a shot taken here. There were a few questions asked about uh, whether or not it might have hit his arm on the way down for the Ghanaian striker. In the end, though, everything is worked away. No damage done for a leopard side as Masia as well is being helped back to his feet, but there won't be a throw in quite so quickly. Yeah, you see a ball being crossed in there. The second ball that drops, leopard's unable yeah. to cause it. Looks like he's handballed it. Uh, I, I, was about to say, I thought I saw it initially come off the arm as well, so <laughs> hey, that was uh, a handball. Lippert should have had a free kick instead. Maklava here with a delivery to come. It's just a little too high for Vujamere, whose attempt to recover and keep that ball in play is thwarted by the pace of the ball. Vujamere. Looks yeah. like both teams uh, are looking to get crosses in and to look to play the ball in behind the defence of their respective opponents. It doesn't seem to have happened. Maybe they should opt to keep the ball and combine more down the, the centre. Lovely ball in here towards Ramakalela with a heavy first touch, however. And Little Abiga with a perfectly timed challenge. Ramakalela goes down, but all without protest. Slightly heavy first touch that just allowed Little Abiga a glimmer of hope in reaching that ball before Ramakalela could. But I'll tell you what, if Litlabika puts in a performance like this in the second half, I know who's going to be talking to Tata Mueng straight <laughs> after this game. Yeah, definitely, he's been outstanding. But a lot of questions uh, must be asked about the likes of Roma Kalela. We know his ability. I do think that Leopards would have preferred to have Karuru on that particular ball because Roma Kalela just seems to have been a little bit out of sorts this afternoon. It's been a tough season for him overall, I think. And would know as well as any that he hasn't quite got the touches that he would like and again showing with a cross in here that's flown straight in over the uh, the heads of any of his teammates into that 18 yard area but this was the release brilliant defense splitting pass uh, champagne pass call it what you want but just look at his touch there and then he's yeah. he's unable to recover and let Labika doing ever so well with that slight tackle as he was looking to have a touch that kept the ball closer to his feet and took it a little wide of the defender instead it went a little further away from him and came towards the defender which allowed Litabika more of a chance to get there which he subsequently did and, and beautifully so but, uh, for Rodney Ramakalela he's the kind of player though that he'll be aware of his chances and knows that he needs to do a little more to capitalize on those every player will go through a bad period and Jima gets a touch on this and uh, Abu Bakr will take it forward it's Karuru what Leopards have done is study the likes of Swallows they attack the likes of House Hota likes to cross the ball in and every time a cross is made by him you either have Jima or Masia blocking that goal blocking that six yard area and this is obviously something that Swallows need to take cognizance of. Maybe look the second half for the likes of Sukhota to do more cutbacks. And again, it's uh, another disappointing cross this time. Matsimbi again on the, the near side. Lithorno de Siema. Sporting, sporting his fresh goatee. Not be uh, happy with the quality of some of the ball that's been played. But this yeah. is the ball across er the, from earlier. This was quality. Just that he didn't cushion it. In fact, he took it in his stride. We know his quality. We know he's a quality striker. But when you have a heavy touch like this, and you have a defender like uh, Letla Pika. Now, real chance. Yeah, Letla Pika's into an attacking position upfield. It's been uh, parried away. But now Matlati through. It's offside. The flag went up as Koza was lining up a smashing shot. Failed to hit the target. But even if he had, it would not have counted. Yeah, he was... Uh, Let's look at it uh, very marginal, but I suppose the player on the far side could have played him on. But again, it, it doesn't really matter because I think there's more relief 
in that expression since he wasn't able to keep it on target. Certainly wouldn't uh, be happy with that. Wood uh, goes up. He gets into fantastic positions, as you've said earlier on, uh, Dwayne. It's just his finishing. He looks to he looks to hoof every ball instead of looking to score. He's looking to shoot whilst he's in the six-yard area. Ball out to near side. Concerns for Swallows. Daniel Gozar is holding his crown. Uh, it's gone up for a ball there, and uh, there's Masia there going for the ball, and I think in the, in the process, he just nicked him from the back. But as we said, right there, you know, there's a huge difference between shooting and scoring, and I think somebody needs to tell Goza that when you're that close to goal, it's all about accuracy and placement rather than power. Daniel Goza back of his head Hello. now let's have a and Ramakalela they shared a moment a short while ago wonder what that's about well I think let Bika is telling you listen uh, listen senior citizen be careful and Ramagalela looked like he was, he, was, he was showing him that I just caught it with the outside of the boot. It didn't stay where I wanted it to. Yeah, yeah he says to you, you're lucky I didn't have a better touch, eh? As, uh, we hit the 45-minute mark. Two minutes of time has been added on in this uh, opening period of the DSTV Premiership match. Timbi. Against Matazzi. Karuru comes away with it. He's been all over the park for Black Leopards today. He hasn't tear to a lovely ball in. And Ramagalela might have a chance to make up for something here. And very close to being either a goal or an assist. Well, Fries had the leg out. But it was Kutlang, I think, who had the final touch on that as it went out of play. It'll be a goal kick to Swallows. Fantastic. Uh, he waited for a while, kept the ball going. And... You know, we haven't seen this from uh, Ramakalela. We know he's capable. Look how well he shields the ball. And then he plays it across the keeper. And unfortunately, there wasn't enough on the shot to, to take it towards goal. Might have been tucking in toward the, the, uh, the back post, though. Fries would have had it covered, his leg. But uh, Hutlang's touch took it out of play. But ultimately, again, Fries was seeing uh, more shots. We are yet to see a goal in this tie as Gozar is penalised again and uh, looks to point to the referee. Yep. He's showing the referee that he is bleeding. So yeah, now referee yeah. Teller is going back to check on this now because I think uh, draw, attention has been drawn to it. Just has a chat with the player. Gozar though feels he's been uh, properly fouled here. Oh. Yeah, I think it's Jima. Jima. Look at his left arm. So yeah. initially it's with the right, but then it's the, the it's forearm the of the left. Yeah. The forearm of the left. And he, he, he's, 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 he's looking away from the player, so you can't really see what he's done. But he knew, he knew exactly what he was doing when he fouled Goza. He's an experienced campaigner, Jima. He doesn't leave. And he's still not dead. He's a solid defender, very strong in the tackle. And I'm sure Goza can, can, can bear testimony to it. Jima. It's been a rare thing in terms of uh, internationals as the end of the opening half uh, is reached without a goal being scored. It is Swallows nil, Black Leopards nil in a match of massive significance for both these teams. Chances have been coming, but I'll tell you, more of the chances have come the way of Black Leopards so far. Litlabika has been star performer in defence for this Swallows side. They've not quite found the touches that they would like in and around the uh, opposing 18-yard area. Very briefly, coach, what, what yeah, well, did you one, note? One could say that both teams have been exciting to watch with uh, the uh, admission, even though there's no admission, but I think what has been lacking is that final shot on goal, that clinical shot on goal. So, 
wrapped in a huddle by both these sides as the referees make their way from the field. A 15 minute break before the second half will be upon us. Swallows nil, Leopards nil at the break. Despite chances for both these sides, it remains goalless with 45 minutes to play in the